All right, well, we're gonna do a little trailer repair, a little something different right now. Um, kind of waiting for the other stuff to get done. I'll, uh, so I figured I would do this. I got these remotes right here. And these are also for, these are actually for uh, your winches, for a winch. So they wire up kind of the same. And uh, they're, so it looked like it would be the same. They're like 15 bucks on Amazon. It'd be kind of a nice little thing if you had a winch to have a remote for that so you could kind of turn the wheels and all that stuff while you're winching something up on the trailer. But uh, I thought it would be kind of nice to have one of these. I saw a guy at the dump. I was dumping this trailer off and uh, some other guy with something like this and I went, wow, that's really cool because you could be in the truck and let your uh, load dump and then have it go back down while you're kind of waiting there. So anyway, for 15 bucks, you know, on Amazon, I figured why not? And at the same time, I figured I'd show you guys how I'm doing it. I, I don't know if I'll make a whole bunch of mistakes or not. Um, so I just looked at the instructions here, and it's kind of confusing. You look at all the stuff here, it just looks like, you know, it's got M and a battery over here, and then it looks like the remote here. And uh, so I was looking at the instructions here. Get me a place where I can do this. And... Uh, so it looks like a, this is the box, and then you get a black and a red, and the black, the red goes to here, which is to battery, positive, and the black goes here, which is here, and then it goes through all this stuff, and goes to negative. So I'm figuring the black and, uh, these are the power wires, the black and the red are here. So the other two are yellow and white. So you look at the yellow and white here and one goes to the in which is the winch going in which would mean up to me um, and then the other one goes to the yellow so the let's see the white goes to the in the yellow goes to the out so the out would be the down so well actually let me see Let's look at the remote. Well, it says out is up, so that would be kind of confusing, wouldn't it? So I, I better use it the opposite of the way it shows here. So in is like the winch coming in, and this out would be up when you're, you know, because it's got a little clip here. So maybe I should do it that way. I'll do out. I'll do it the opposite. And if I mess up, I can always rewire it. So anyway, on these, it looks like... There is, it's really kind of confusing the wiring here because you got a positive that goes to here, or is that then, yeah, positive. I know it's the bigger, larger post is always a positive, smaller post is the negative. Um, and the positive goes to here, and then the negative goes from here around to this motor. So, so I guess this is the negative side of the motor, and this is the positive side of the motor, and then it goes through this switch right here so uh, I'm I, I'm assuming that uh, one of these two is the one that actuates this so what I've got is a test light let's do some testing on here and see what it is so I still have the the uh, old switch hooked up and if I put a test light on here and let's see if this one is the one it lights up Let's see what the other one does, just for fun. There's no light there. <laughs> Nothing on the other side. So, I'm going to say that th maybe this one, what there is here, what I can see, is there's a switch down here. And it's for, this one here has a, when you go down, let's just do it so you guys can see. You go down... Let's see if it'll focus. Uh, you go down here on the switch, and I push the down button. See, it does that. So it it has a a, a motor up, and then a down by the. It looks like that's some sort of a hydraulic release switch down there. So I'm betting that the other side of this is this side here is going to be the downside let's take a look 
No. <coughs> Not sure what it is. So when you go here. Oh, there's another wire right here. That must be the positive side. Or no, maybe this is the, that's the negative side. This is the positive side. <coughs> down. Okay, so when I push down, you see this circuit lights up, which goes to that switch over there. So one side of the switch over here looks like it's the positive. This one... Or this one looks like the positive, and this one looks like it's maybe the negative. So it's kind of weird that it's hooked up to the opposite side of this switch. I guess that's so you don't hit push both at the same time or something. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, anyway, that's all I need to know is this is the down, and this is the up. And that's all I need to know. So if I, if I know that, then I can actually wire up this side to the so this one will go to let's see we want the down right we want the the uh, up to be the out so out is again you guys probably already know but I have to think this through while I'm looking at it out is what is it let's see white is in so in is opposite i believe i'll come back in the video in just a second i'll figure this out all right so i figured out the outs the yellow let's see if i got it right you guys think i got it right i'm not even really sure let's figure out wire it and find out well that's not in there good enough Okay, and the white one goes here. Looks like I got too small of an eye there, huh? I got this big monster one. Let me back you guys up a little bit. Oh no, not closer. You're gonna get stuff in your eyes if you're that close. Okay, let's take this one off. Twist it up here. I need a little socket set. I didn't know if I grabbed it. Yes, I did. All right, bring you guys back in the video. Just a second, I get some tools ready. All right, so I'm just gonna take this off what I got too is I got one of these style ones where you have to just push it in it's a little easier of course I got a craftsman socket in this SK old set a craftsman socket wrench my old SK set I don't know what happened to ratchet a long time ago I lost it many many years ago so now I just need to hook up the positive and negative. Of course, you know I did that last for a good reason. That thing is really heavy if it comes down on me. You know, I'll be moving right out of the way. Hopefully you guys won't get crushed. That'd be a bummer. All right, hold on one second, we'll be right back. So how about this one? That's an oldie. Let's see if it's the right size. I guess it is. Um, yeah, uh, the story on this wrench I got a bunch of these. Uh, a, f a friend of mine who uh, was one of my old gurus from years ago, he uh, said, he said, hey, I, I, I'm not going to be able to turn wrenches anymore. So he actually gave me a bunch of tools, and this is some of them. Pretty nice, huh? I sold old Craftsman stuff back when they made, I don't know if they were even made in America back then. But they probably were a little bit better than they are now, at least. Hopefully I can get this one to slide in there. I only got this size, so yeah, let's hope it works out. Um, 
So this side is the positive. So it's going to be the red. No, I think it's the black. What do you guys think? You think it's the black? No, I'm just kidding. It's definitely the red, right? And if these things came with batteries, I'm going to try and do this. I guess. No, I'll just cut it there. Right. So let's uh, put one of these on there. It's really like meant for a really big wire, but I hope it works. Seemed to on the last one. It, I use these to crimp it down versus regular crimping pliers because I really want to really crush it really good when it's the wrong size. So this one goes here. That's gonna work or not. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it seems like it's got enough threads on there. What do you guys think? Yeah, maybe it'd be alright. Now I gotta figure out this side, which is the negative. I think I can put it right there. I should have the battery disconnected, right? Live a little dangerously. I put it up extra high because I figured, well, I can move out of the way. I guess I could put this thing down here. I guess that's out of the way enough. It doesn't really need to do much other than just dangle there. Believe it or not, I'm really prepared to move the hell out of the way in case this thing starts to go down. Yes, it is only a wing nut, right? Maybe we're fortunate enough to have made it without taking the battery cable off. I'm not suggesting you guys do that, but I would say always take the battery cable off. If it was someone else, but, since it's the infamous me, and everybody likes to hate me, I'll leave the battery cable on. Just so I can get the negative comments. But that's okay. Constructive criticism is okay, that's not negative to me. It's only just the ones that just say, you're an asshole, or you're a so-and-so, or whatever. Here's the magic. What do you guys think? You think it'll work? Bet it's backwards. Nope. Hmm. Something isn't right. Yeah, it's a false ground there. Oh, eh. let's double check this here. Something is not right. Let's see. And I thought I was done. Okay. So this one's the negative. I don't know if you guys can even see that. This one's the negative. Double check. Yeah, it's negative. I have a light. I have power. Let's see if I get down. Oh, I know what's wrong. There's a button on the side. Guess what it says? What does it say? Power. Now the light's on. Let's see if it works now. Ah. Down scope. Up scope. Yes, it works. <laughs>
I was gonna say, man, I thought I had uh, nailed that one. But uh, let's see, let's try it from far away. Let you guys watch. Ah, this is my new toy. This is great. Oh yeah. So it goes down. And then up. Yes. That is very helpful. I think the power switch actually turns off on its own. Uh, I can push it again. It, I know it turns off then. See? But I think it actually has a timer on it. Anyway, uh, if you guys wanted to get one of these, they're all available on Amazon. Um, maybe I'll put a link in there if I can. Uh, but uh, they are pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. If you guys have a winch, I could see that would be really handy to have. You could just tuck this thing in your pocket and have it there. Well, just don't bump it while you're trying to move it, right? Or have the, that's why have the, that's why they have the power button. It makes sense because if the power's not on, if the power's on, then you can bump the buttons. But if it's off, you could bump the buttons all you want, and it won't do anything. And it's on the side, so that's kind of cool. All right. Well, anyway. I think it was $14 and some change on Amazon. Uh, I don't know what that name brand is. x -Bull? I don't know. But for 15 bucks, definitely worth buying. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you comment. Love to see those comments. Good, bad, uh, funny. I love funny ones. You know, So leave something funny. Uh, love those things. Um, and even something... Uh, uh, constructive criticism, no problem. Just don't... I don't like hate. I don't like, you know or junk dummy or anything like that that doesn't make any sense but anyway i'll talk to you in the next video please like share and subscribe